cousin abandoned my niece at my house while I was camping. Over the week, my husband and I went on a camping trip before summer season with its glorious warm weather was officially over. We weren't at home and had no cell reception where we were. We left Thursday September 7th and returned on Monday September 11th. While we were away, my cousin left my niece still strapped to her car seat outside my house door on Friday September 8th and sent me some text messages. Remember, I had no cell reception where I was camping. I would never have known while I was gone. I saw the missed messages after I returned home. It wasn't a request to ask if I can help her. It was simply a message notifying me that she left my niece in front of my door along with a bag with her stuff for the weekend. She did not ask me beforehand if I could help her babysit. There was no possible way for me to know. Even if I knew, I would have still declined unless it was a medical emergency in the family and they had no other choice. I live in a rural area where everyone is on 30-acre plots of land, so no one knew my niece was there. I had no clue. The neighbors had no clue. My niece was literally abandoned in front of my door until Saturday noon when my parents came by to drop off my parcels that were delivered to their house. That's when they saw my niece. My parents called my aunt and had her come pick her up. I can only assume that my parents, my aunt and my grandmother scolded my cousin for leaving my niece at my door. When I got home, all I saw was the initial text message telling me that my niece was dropped off at my place. Then a string of very rude text messages and voice messages from my cousin calling me irresponsible for leaving my niece outside and endangering her. Because what if the coyotes in my area attack the helpless infant? I'm just so frustrated. There it is, the update many of you asked for. I wish I had a happier conclusion to this chapter, but life has its twists and turns. It seems she might have the upper hand in this final act, but I'm hoping for a fair resolution. Thank you for the support and advice, it has really meant a lot.